Hey Eric, it's Kevin. I'm going to walk through some of my comments on your paracordist monkey's fist keychain example. You did a great job. Uh, it's very close. There's just a few things I want to point out. Starting at one end and working my way down. The monkey's fist um, is pretty good in terms of its symmetry. The main issue with it is that it's too loose. I shouldn't be able to um, separate any of the cords by hand. Shouldn't be able to move them at all. So the way you're going to accomplish the tightness we need is by first of all working this through again another time probably getting out more slack, getting it tight to begin with and then you want to dunk it in boiling water for about 10 seconds. I do have a video on that explaining more. Then you also when you're tying you want to avoid um, creating frays here. If you do fray the cord with your pliers then you want to cut it as close as you can and then burn it slightly so that it doesn't show up as much. Next the um, doubled diamond knot here needs to be tightened so that it's basically very close to or up against the monkey's fist. So you want to take out some of that slack there. The knot itself is tied correctly but it it needs some work in uh, dressing. It's just not evenly it's not evenly tightened and uh, symmetric. Right, this loop is a little bit long say about an inch is all we need there. Next the uh, four strand round braid looks good. The double wall knot looks good. You just want to um, come as cleanly as you can into and out of the wall knot. This side looks great, but this side over here, um, it's a, a little bit messy. It needs to be, um, get those cords coming out clean right into a four strand round braid and um, work it as tight as you can before you continue with the braid. The double Matthew Walker needs work. Looks like you probably know how to tie it but the cords are out of order. This one here is overlapping on this one and should probably be between these two. So it, it needs, this whole thing needs to be loosened and then the cords, they all need to lie parallel to each other as you tighten it. So this, this one here is uh, simply out of order. It, it needs to have been placed between these two when it was tightening. And you need to have that, that look uh, when you're done of uniformity and parallel cords. Then this, these ends can be about half as long when they're cut and burned. Otherwise, um, you've done a good job. Hope to see you um, try again, make a, uh, another version, and uh, get back to me when you can. Thanks again. Bye now.